In this lesson, we're going to look at a constant of proportionality again and how it shows up in a table, a graph, and an equation. This is a really important lesson that seems to come up over and over and over again when you're taking your standardized tests. Um, so here's the first question. Does a graph show a proportional relationship? You can kind of follow this flow chart and see what happens. Is there a constant rate of change? If yes, the points form a straight line. To be proportional, the points have to form a straight line. If it doesn't, just say no. If they do, say yes, and then ask, your, ask yourself, does the graph pass through 0, 0? If the answer is no to that, it's not proportional and there won't be a constant of proportionality. If it is, then you're going to do um, any non-zero y divided by that corresponding non-zero x. Divide those, that will give you your constant of proportionality. Um, does the table show a proportional relationship? What you need to do is look at every ordered pair that's not zero and see does y divided by x equal the same value? If not, it's not proportional. If so, the constant proportionality will be any non-zero y divided by that corresponding x. And then lastly, does an equation show a proportional relationship? Well, is the equation written in the form y equals kx, y equals some number times x? Or can it be written in that form? If it can't, it's not proportional. If yes, the constant of proportionality is k. We're going to look at examples of each of these types to help it make more sense. So the first problem here, determine whether each table, graph, or equation is proportional. And then when you figure it out, you're going to go ahead and um, find the constant of proportionality. So the first problem here, um, first of all, you're asking yourself, is it a straight line? Yes. So check. Does it pass through 0, 0? Yes. So yes, this one's proportional. When we're looking for the constant of proportionality, we just need to look at a corresponding um, y compared to an x. So I might look at this ordered pair because it looks kind of nicely there. The y value is 6 and the x value is 0 0.5. So we could do 6 divided by 0 0.5 and that equals 12. If we try it again at a different ordered pair, say this one, the y value is 36 and the x value is 3. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. We need to have the same number both times, otherwise we, we made a mistake or it's not proportional. So yes, our constant of proportionality, we call that k, is 12. In the second example, when we look here, we're going to notice, um, is it straight? Yes, it is. Does it pass through 0, 0? Well, here's 0, 0 on the graph, and the line does not go through it. So no. So this is not proportional. Okay, let's check out some tables. Okay, so again, the same thing. When we check a table, what we like to do is divide each y by the corresponding x. So here we would do 5 divided by 1. That equals 5. In the next one, we could do 7 divided by 2. That equals 3.5. At this point, we don't even need to keep going. They're not the same value, so it's not proportional. Okay, let's look at the next table. I'd love you to pause the video and try to figure this one out by yourself if you're able to. Okay, so I'm going to do my y divided by x for each corresponding pair. If I do 10.5 divided by 1.5, I get 7. Here, 14 divided by 2, it's 7. 24.5 divided by 3.5, it's 7. And 35 divided by 5, it's also 7. So yes, this is proportional, and the constant of proportionality is 7, the number you get each time when you divide those. Okay, let's look at one last thing. This is going to be just looking at an equation. So y equals negative 8.9x. Is that in the form y equals kx? Well, yes, it's y equals some number times x. So yes, this is a proportional relationship, and y always gets, um, y is always found by multiplying x by negative 8.9. So the constant of proportionality is negative 8.9. Okay. And then the last example here, y equals 5x plus 3. Can this be written in the form y equals kx? 
Well, notice we have this extra add end here. We're adding three to the end. Hmm. That does not look like it's in the right form. We have something extra added. It will make it not be able to pass through zero, zero. So no, this is not proportional.